Hello learners, welcome to the video lesson 24, Cooperate and Prosper of Secondary Level English Subject. Learners, coming to the introduction, history tells us that since times immemorial, middlemen or intermediaries have played a very important role in trade industry. There were times when means of communication were not very good. At that time, these people helped to carry goods from the manufacturer to the end user. A farmer who produced food grains needed someone to help him carry out daily work to the consumer or for that matter carry steel or iron from the manufacturer to the machinist. The job of a middleman is not to change the shape or attributes of a product. His role is purely to transport goods to the users for which he is paid money. This resulted in the goods getting expensive. Over a period of time, the middlemen became very powerful and they started exploiting the farmers and the poor manufacturers and forced them to sell things only through them. The farmers and the small scale uh, producers were beginning to get poorer by the day and the intermediaries started getting richer and more powerful. Today, things have changed. Electronic commerce has become popular. More and more people are trading through internet. Hence, there is a direct link between a seller and a buyer. With the result, things have become cheaper because there is no extra cost of uh, middlemen involved. However, the middlemen have now taken over the role of information giver. He or she interprets, translates, catches errors and in many other ways facilitates the transaction. Many skilled suppliers such as farmers or machinists uh, don't want to become experts at electronic commerce systems. They hire someone to do this work for them, a new middleman. The lesson Cooperate and Prosper talks about the time when India had just green freedom. Many of the British companies were still actively doing business and middlemen were prospering at the cost of the poor farmer. The lesson is dedicated to the farmers of Gujarat. Gujarat is the largest producer of milk today. Yet in the past, the farmers who reared cattle and produced this huge amount of milk in the country remained poor, though they worked very hard. The story is about how Sardar Vallabhai Patel, a freedom fighter and the first Deputy Prime Minister of India, helped to improve the lives of the cattle farmers of Gujarat by organizing them into a cooperative called the Amul Dairy. You must have all seen their famous advertisement of Amul. The little girl created history by being the longest running mascot, icon or symbol for Amul butter. Some famous advertisement lines for Amul are utterly butterly delicious Amul and Amul the taste of India. Learners, coming to the objectives of this lesson, after completing this lesson, you will be able to explain the main idea of the text, realize the advantages of forming a cooperative, learn the value of self-governance and cooperative living, develop awareness of some military and civilian awards, identify value and recognize positive qualities in others, deduce the meaning of difficult words and phrases and use them effectively, use homophones correctly in written sentences, enhance your vocabulary of phrases, use different types of pronouns effectively, use infinitives both with and without to, learn to make nouns from verbs and adjectives, write a process, interpret the information in a factual table and complete a written description. Learners, let us read the text. Coming to the main idea of the text, learners, sick of the exploitation of the middlemen, the farmers of Gujarat met Sardar Vallabhai Patel and appealed to him to help them out. Sardar Patel understood their problem and suggested to them to form a cooperative society. Learners, what is a cooperative? A cooperative is an autonomous association of people united voluntarily to meet their common economic, social and cultural needs and aspirations through a jointly owned and democratically controlled business. The farmers hereby came together as a group and this brought about a great change in their life. This idea not only helped them improve their life but also led to the setting up of one of the India's most successful industries. It also made Gujarat one of the richest and most developed states of India. How did this cooperative work and how did it meet with success? Learners, read the story to find out more details. Read the full text of the lesson, Cooperate and Prosper on your own. Learners, let us understand the text 
part 1 you may read from the lines the people of gujarat 2 came into existence in gujarat coming to the brief analysis of this section learners sometimes we come across wise people who give us a good suggestion or advice which if followed can change the course of life altogether well this is what happened to the farmers of gujarat they were poor and uneducated they produced milk but were forced to sell it to the middlemen who were supplying it to an english company the farmers were given a very small payment for their milk eventually they were so unhappy that after india got independence they approached sardar vallabhbhai patel the then home minister of india to help them out in this unit Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel feels sad to see the unhappy condition of the poor cattle owning farmers of Gujarat who are forced to remain poor because they are cheated by middlemen. In this part of the story you will understand how Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel the iron man of India formed a cooperative. Learners let us interpret the text. The people of Gujarat were mostly farmers. They reared cattle but remained poor. Despite their hard work they were always remained in want. The poor plight of these farmers moved the heart of the Iron Man of India, Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. He made up his mind to help them out and do away with the malpractices of the middlemen. By forming a cooperative, the farmers will also become owners of their business and will share the profits, which will bring prosperity into their lives. Since the farmers needed direction and help, he appointed Mr. Tribhuvan Das Patel to help them out. Tribhuvan Das united the disorganized farmers and started a cooperative dairy unit. The system of cooperative effort eliminated the middlemen who had been harassing and exploiting these farmers all this time. At this time there was a British dairy by the name of Polson which had a monopoly and was doing great business. Tribhuvan Das found it difficult to compete with it. He was struggling very hard to find a way to fight this competition. when luck brought him in touch with an engineer called Kurian Vergis this man had studied in america he was young energetic and intelligent too he was trained in america on a dairy farming and was working in the dairy institute at anand he was somehow not happy working there even though it was a government owned unit but he resigned from there and was planning to go to his mother state when he met tribhuvan das Tribhuvan Das sought this clever young man's help. Vargis Kurian agreed to help him out. He set up a milk processing plant. This was the beginning of the Amul dairy. Once it started, there was no looking back. Let us trace the history of the man who created this history in the country. Kurian worked hard day and night to keep the plant running and to expand the unit too. It was due to his hard work that not only the dream of Gujarat came to be true, but also the dream of vallabhbhai patel got fulfilled learners dr vergis kurian was born in calicut on 26th november 1921 he got his first degree in physics and he studied be mechanical engineering at the university of madras he went on a scholarship to the usa and passed ms degree with distinction he was also very good at cricket tennis and boxing when he returned to india he joined the government dairy at anand in gujarat as a dairy engineer but he felt it was not a challenging job for him so he agreed to help mr tribhuvan das patel in setting up a milk processing plant this was how the amul dairy came into existence in gujarat learners let's come to part number 2 24.2.2 and you may read from the line dr vargis kurian developed 2 chocolates and ice cream in this part of the story we come to know how the amul dairy unit became one of the biggest milk producers cooperative and how this movement empowered the farmers dr vergis kurian worked hard day and night to develop amul dairy unit into the largest cooperative dairy in india it was mainly due to his hard work and effort that the poor milk producers got some protection from the ruthless exploitation of the middlemen the farmers now understood how by forming a cooperative they were actually partly owners too they now learned some marketing skills too he introduced various reforms in the administration of amul dairy for example he proposed to distribute half of its profit to the milk producers 
as dividend. His reforms improved their financial conditions and the rural economy at large began to prosper. At this time, a saying became popular. It says the woman who owns a buffalo celebrates Diwali every day. This simply means that a person who owns a cow or a buffalo can become rich and enjoy his life forever. The milk would fetch him or her good money and he or she will no longer be in the one of anything. Dr. Kurian made India the largest milk producer of the world. He established the National Dairy Development Board and designed the Operation Flood program. Operation Flood refers to the excess milk production in the state. As a result of the economy of the people and the state improving the farmers were able to take better care of their cattle and give them nourishing fodder. This would result in better yield of milk, which now flooded the dairy and met the needs of the country. Because Dr. Kurian set the foundation of the first successful dairy unit in India, he is also called the architect of modern dairy industry and also the father of white revolution. Because of his exceptional devotion to duty and his exceptional success, he received many awards from the government of India. He received the highest civilian awards such as Padma Shri and Padma Bhushan. Very soon, word about his extraordinary success reached other parts of the world too. His achievements were therefore not just recognized in India but internationally too. He was, a, he was awarded the prestigious Raman Magsese Award for Community Leadership. It is said that Dr. Kurian has succeeded in keeping the wolf from the doors of our farmers. What did the author mean to say by writing this? Who is the wolf? Obviously, the middleman has been referred to as the wolf. By forming the cooperative and making the farmers shareholders in the company, the middlemen were totally eliminated and there was nothing new to exploit the farmers. Hence, the wolf was kept out of the doors of the farmers. His effort paved the way and have made the Indian farmer healthy, wealthy, cheerful and wise. Thanks to Dr. Kurian that the children of India are blessed with an opportunity to drink milk and feed on various other milk products such as good quality milk, butter and cheese, not to forget chocolates and ice cream. Learners, coming to the brief summary of the lesson, during the British Raj, there was one major company known by the name of Polson. This company was famous for its cheese. There were other distributors for supplying milk to Bombay. Major produce came from Gujarat. There were a number of middlemen involved to help interface between the farmers and the company owners. The middlemen exploited the poor farmers and did not pay them their due with the result the farmers remained poor. After independence, the farmers approached Sardar Vallabhai Patel to help them out. Patel felt sad to see their plight. He asked them to form a cooperative and become their own masters. He asked Tribhuvan Das to help the farmers. Tribhuvan Das helped them to form a cooperative and started a dairy unit for them. He was not able to find a way uh, to outroot Olsons. During this time, he came across a young engineer, Korean Verghese, who had studied dairy farming in America and who was employed at Anand Dairy Unit. The unit was government owned and people did not have the right attitude to work. Kurian did not like the environment, so he resigned. He was planning to go back to his hometown when he met Tribhuvan Das. Tribhuvan Das requested him to help him out and he promised. He set up the unit properly, trained the farmers on marketing skills and also shared profits with them. This way the farmers flourished and the state prospered. The Amul dairy today is the biggest dairy in the country. It is diversified. It, is, it also diversified its range of products to remain at the helm of affairs. Kurian is known as uh, to have kept the wolf out of the door. He is also known as the father of white revolution. For his dedication and hard work, he received a lot of prestigious awards both at the national and international levels. Our NCDC, National Cooperative Development Corporation, IFCO, IFFCO, Indian Farmers Fertilizer Cooperative and NAFED, NAFED, National Agricultural Cooperative Marketing Federation. Learners, coming to some key issues and concerns. Learners, we all know unity is strength. 
If people can get together and fight a collective battle against injustice, they can emerge winners. Selfish leaders and cunning people sometimes selfishly prefer to keep people poor and illiterate. It becomes easy to manipulate and exploit the poor and the illiterate. The British monopolized trade in India and also kept the poor farmer illiterate. We need to beware of people who try to manipulate others. Electronics has given the middlemen another way of interfacing between the producer and the consumer. Too many competitors help keep prices under control. Dedication, selflessness and collective efforts always pay. Learners, let's come to the grammar section of the lesson. Number one, it's pronouns. Words which are used in place of nouns are called pronouns. Number one, singular personal pronouns. He, she, it, I, me, him, her, you. Learners, let us read some sentences or this passage. Dr. Verghese was born in Calicut in 26th November 1921. Dr. Verghese got his first degree in physics and Dr. Verghese earned his BE in mechanical engineering at the University of Madras. Learners, did you notice that the repetition of the name Dr. Verghese made the passage boring for you to read? Now, read the passage. Now, note the changes that have been made to the original passage. The noun Dr. Verghese has been replaced by the pronoun he. Dr. Verghese was born in Calicut on 26th November 1921. He got, he got his first degree in physics and he earned his BE in mechanical engineering at the University of Madras. This was example number one. Coming to example number two, the use of he, him, she and her. Ram went to the market. Ram wanted to buy some fruits and vegetables. When Ram was about to leave, Ram's wife Shanti asked Ram, to buy a few more things. Shanti reminded Ram to buy the medicines which the doctor had prescribed for Shanti. Learners, in this passage, the words Ram and Shanti are nouns and nouns are naming words. They, they are proper nouns, names of people. These nouns have been used again and again. This makes the passage very boring to read. Now, read this passage. Does it read and sound better? What changes have been made? Now, Ram went to the market. Ram went to the market. He wanted to buy some fruits and vegetables. When he was about to leave his wife, his wife, Shanti asked him to buy a few more things. She reminded him to buy the medicines which the doctor had prescribed for now in this passage, the proper noun Ram, the name of a man, has been replaced by the pronouns he and him after the first sentence. The proper noun Shanti, the name of a woman, has been replaced by the pronouns she and her after the first introduction. Number two, plural pronouns such as we, us, you, them, they, their. Example. The use of they, their, them. Now, read the passage, learners. Kareem and Julie lived in a small village. Kareem and Julie were good friends. Kareem and Julie went to the same school. In the evening, Kareem and Julie would play for some time, after which Kareem and Julie would sit down to finish Kareem and Julie's homework. So, this is the passage. Now, read the passage again. Kareem and Julie lived in a small village. They were, they were good friends. They went to the same school. In the evening, they would play for some time, after which they would sit down to finish their homework. Learners, over here, what did you notice? After the first use, we replaced the names of Kareem and Julie with the pronoun they. We use the pronoun they when there are two or more people being talked about. Learners, now attempt the exercise number one given in your book on your own. Coming to number three, possessive pronouns. Words such as his, hers, mine, ours, theirs and yours show possession or ownership. They also are called possessive pronouns. They are used alone 
as can be seen in the, in the examples given here. They do not have a noun after them. Examples, these books are theirs, these trousers are yours, not mine. The torn shirt is not his. Learners, I hope you got some understanding. Coming to summary of pronouns, you need to study the table. Words such as my, his, her, its, your, their and are also show possession but need a singular or plural noun after them. For this reason, they are sometimes called possessive adjectives. Examples, his shirt is torn, her baby is crying, my book is interesting, possessive, plural, subject, object. This is the sequence. Possessive, first person, I, me, mine, we, us, ours. In the second person, you, yours. In the third person, he, him, his, they, them, theirs. Learners, now complete exercise number two of the lesson on your own. Next section is infinitives. Learners, infinitives are verbs that do not change with a change in the tense or form of the main verb. Infinitives may be base verbs that need a to, that need a to along with them. Or they may not need a to before them. Infinitives can be used after a noun pronoun, adjective or a main verb in statements as well as in question forms. Number one, verbs which need a to before them is equal to two infinitives. Example, we are ready to go now. We are ready to go now, to go. If you are traveling abroad, remember to take your passport with you, to take your passport with you. Learners, you need to complete exercise number one on your own given in the book. Next, verbs which do not need a to before them. These infinitives are called bare infinitives. Bare infinitives often come after a modal verb but not always. They also come after some other special verbs such as make and let. For example, I must finish my work immediately. My mother makes me brush my teeth every night before I go to bed. Let me help you. Learners, complete exercise number two on your own. Next, adjectives which need a verb with a to before it. Adjectives which need a verb with a to before it. Examples, I am glad to see you. The cultural program put up by children was exciting to watch. He is not strong enough to walk 10 miles. Next, verbs which come after nouns and pronouns need a to along with them. Examples, do you have a pencil to lend me? Do you have a pencil to lend me? I have lots of work to complete. Can I have something to eat? Learners, there is an exercise, exercise number three, which you are required to do on your own. Next section, let us learn new words. Coming to heart phrases, learners, read the sentences. The poor plight of these farmers moved the heart of the Iron Man of India, Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Read the sentence, learners. Move the heart is a phrase which means felt sad for someone or empathized with someone. Learners, there is an exercise in your book in which these phrases are there. What do the phrases in column A mean? Match them with their correct meaning given in column B. You may refer to the dictionary if necessary. Now, number one, to have a change of heart, which means to change one's feelings towards someone. Number two, to have one's heart in one's mouth, to be extremely nervous. Number three, to take heart, which means to pick up courage. Number four, to break someone's heart, to make someone sad. Next, not to have one's heart in something, not to feel interested in something. So this last phrase, not to have 
one's heart in something means not to feel interested in something. Learners, next, let us learn new words. Homophones. Learners, the two words have the same pronunciation but different meanings. Homophones have the same pronunciation but different meanings. For instance, a pear, P-E-A-R, is a fruit which is light green in color, but a pear, P-A-I-R, refers to two people or two things that belong together or go together. There is an exercise in the book. Study the pairs of sentences. Fill in the blanks with appropriate words given in brackets. There is an example which has been done for you. I went to the market to buy some apples, oranges and pears. I also bought a pair of shoes for myself. So, here pair is P-A-I-R. Okay. So, there are other sentences also and you need to do that exercise. Process writing. There is an exercise in your book. There is a flowchart showing the journey of milk from a farm or household to the factory or dairy and from there to people in the cities and towns. The flowchart given in your book depicts or describes the sequence of events. Now learners, drawing from that flowchart, I would now provide a description of the process. Over here, you need to see the flowchart in the book itself. At first, the cows or buffaloes are milked each day by the cattle owners. The milk is carried to the nearest dairy collection centers where it is collected in huge containers. The collected milk is then put in boilers and boiled at a high temperature. This process, also known as pasteurization, helps to kill the harmful bacteria. After pasteurization, the milk is cooled in a cooling chamber. Thereafter, it is separated on the basis of its cream content into full cream milk, toned milk, double toned milk or skimmed milk. Subsequently, the milk is packed in bottles, poly bags or tetra packs. Finally, the packed milk is transported to different cities and towns to reach people like us for individual consumption. When we describe a process, we generally use the passive voice and sequence markers to describe each step in the process. There is an exercise, write a paragraph describing the process of making chocolate. Use the milk production flowchart given on page 157 to guide you. Remember to use different sequence markers and passive voice. Remember to use pronouns wherever possible instead of repeating the nouns. For tips on how to use the passive voice, you may refer to the section 21.4 Letters Grammar section in the lesson The Village Pharmacy. Learners, under the section Let Us Do 24.3, there is a section called uh, Reading and Interpreting a Factual Table. This is a subsection under Let Us Do section. There is a table given in the lesson showing the average milk production in India in the last 10 years and the availability of milk per person. Learners, you need to pay attention to that and do the exercise number one. Now read Analyze and use the information in the table and complete the information by filling in the blanks. This is simple as you just have to read the facts given against each head and fill in the blanks. Read the table twice to put in the exact information in the table. As I tell you every time, each lesson of secondary level English needs your undivided attention as it not only has a story or any issue raised, it has its inbuilt English language skills which are required on any learner's part to understand those fully before writing the exam. Also, do, do read your secondary level English book before sitting for the exam. Best of luck and thanks.